The biggest problem is that of water. If we had water, we could water the plants, our animals could graze, there would be fodder for the cattle. But without water, how can we survive? In the past, we had only hard water here. For drinking water, we had to go to the pond, which was two to three kilometers away. A whole day would be wasted. If the government provided us with a water facility, then the water scarcity problem would be reduced. The Dryland Integrated Agricultural Production System project is being promoted by ICRISA and Gravis is the implementation agency. The project started two years ago. The most affected areas in Jaisalmer, Barmer and Jodhpur are covered as part of this project with the objectives of promoting livelihoods, providing food and nutrition security and to develop new sources of energy. Along with the local community in Gravis, Ikrasat worked on supporting the construction of tankas, the introduction and cultivation of horticultural plants, conservation of water using the pitcher method, strategies for pasture land development, motivating the communities to form self-help groups, and improving the marketing of village livestock. There is no water even to wash clothes. We drink hard water. When we buy one tanker of drinking water for 700 rupees, it has to last for three months. Ikrasat assisted the Dok village in the Bama area to construct concrete underground water tanks or tankers, which collect rainwater and help store it below ground to reduce evaporation losses. Since we have the tanks, the children have water to drink, the livestock have water and the pasture land provides fodder. Now the girls don't have to collect water all day and have started going to school. Advice was also given on the introduction and cultivation of horticultural plants suitable to the region. ICRISAT helped the community to use the latest techniques in agriculture, including hybrid seeds that are being used in modern farming. The pitcher subsurface irrigation technique is a way of conserving water in the drylands. The pitcher is a bottle made of porous baked clay. When it is filled with water and buried into the soil, it slowly releases moisture thereby creating a graduated watering system. Ikrasat also encouraged these communities to develop their surrounding pasture land by facilitating shared land schemes. After Ikrasat explained everything, the villagers gave 10 hectares of land to the community and they have developed fodder in these fields by sowing grasses such as sevan and thaman and other fodder plants. These communities in Barmer and Jodhpur were also encouraged to organise and share resources through the formation of village development committees and self-help groups. So VDC the work that VDC has done is very good and the villagers like what it has achieved. They have built tube wells, pipelines, tankas, taps, roads, and we have been able to secure pensions for people who are of a pensionable age. The self-help groups, meanwhile, help in providing micro-credit and micro-financing schemes. I am gathering the women to meet. We don't have any means, but we have called them and clarified their doubts. So each of them is asking for work. As part of the innovative experiment, ICRISAT has installed a scale in public places for weighing goats. People are not getting the right price for their livestock. We have therefore mobilized the community to weigh their goats on these machines so that they get the right price based on the weight of the goat.
Due to the heavy rains, everything was flooded. Sheep, goats and children were trapped in the flood waters. The whole day, there was very heavy rain. At night, they came and rescued the children and the cattle. Everything else was submerged, all our food and possessions. As part of the reconstruction efforts after the flood, Ikrasat assisted in the construction of earthen dams and embankments. These efforts resulted in controlling the flood waters, improving soil quality and the retention of topsoil, conservation and storage of water, and a rise in the water table in the surrounding area. During the rainy season, the river in this area was 50 to 55 feet wide and rose up to 5 to 6 feet in depth. In consultation with the villagers, a check dam was constructed in this spot. The construction of the dam enabled farmers like Puru Devi to return to the area, to feel safe sleeping at night during the rainy season and to grow crops without the constant threat of destruction during the monsoon period. It also gave workers and livestock grazing in the area immediate access to water. So the Gram Panchayat, the VDC and the Trust all collaborated exceptionally well and involved the villagers to deliver great results despite the less rain because they had worked on a plan that had factored in low rainfall. If the children's education is good, they're well-mannered and cultured, they have good water to drink, and we have electricity, then everybody is happy. Yeah.